Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Associate head hockey coach Jared DeMichael has never lived in the Midwest until this year after Adam Nightingale hired him away from Massachusetts. He's known as one of the bright rising assistants in the collegiate game, and he has the resume to back it up. DeMichael helped guide the Minutemen to their first ever national championship last season. And considering Michigan State has never won a game in the Big Ten tournament, they'll be leaning on his postseason expertise to get the job done. First of all, thank you for taking the time to do this with us. Uh, it is a massive week for the program, all things considered. You're traveling to South Bend to take on Notre Dame. And when you look at the series that you guys have had with them in the regular season, and now as you approach the, the, the tournament time, where do you think that you guys have the edge? I think we're confident in our group. I mean, obviously we had four pretty tight games um, to, in the regular season. The first game maybe not as tight, but I think that was way back in October. So to play them here at Munn, I think definitely gives our group some confidence with how we played here. I think how we do things as a team and how we play things with, with pace and transition. Um, and I think we also have some, some youthful excitement, which is a good thing to have come playoff time. For you, you've been immersed in a lot of postseason play as a coach on the Big Ten side of it. What is it gonna be like, or what do you anticipate a Big Ten hockey tournament being like versus when you were at UMass? Yeah, no, I mean, there's definitely a different feel come practice, no matter the level, whether I was coaching at Division Three or different conferences in Division One. It's a different feeling, but it's a different feeling in a good way. I think the players are, are itching to get onto the ice. Um, I mean, I think this is why you play the game for these types of opportunities and whatnot. So I can't talk about it in Big Ten play yet because I haven't had the chance to experience it. But from seeing the regular season and seeing how strong the conference has been this year, I mean, six of the seven teams are ranked in the top 20 and six of seven teams have a legitimate chance to make the NCAA tournament. Um, so you're, we're going to have to scratch tooth and nail to win every single game, um, but it will make it worth it at the end of the way if we can find a way to get some wins. Where would you describe where your biggest strength is within the staff? I think I'm a pretty energetic person. I do think I bring some good positive energy um, to the staff, to the players and, and whatnot. So, I mean, I think our staff really complements each other well. We talk to our players about being a unit on the ice. If they want to be a unit on the ice, we have to be a unit off the ice as well too. So there's definitely a lot of uh, family type atmosphere within our staff group. And I think that leads into our players in the right direction. Another thing too that Adam has brought up a couple different times throughout the season which always seems to be intriguing and it was when you guys were hired was the fact that he didn't want to bring in his buddies or people that might be uh, more acclimated to East Lansing or the program or the history of the school. You know, he wanted to find the best people who were fit for what he felt the job was going to be. So with you guys not really applying and him, you know, seeking you out, we talked about this when you were first hired initially, but how has that worked out for you? It's been awesome. I mean, um, Adam's been great to work with. Um, I mean, he's exceeded my expectations just with his practice planning and his attention to detail, um, but the staff that he brought on, obviously I'm biased that he... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he reached out to me out of the blue and our first conversation, like I thought he was more picking my brain on just kind of building up a program in college hockey and recruiting and just daily thoughts and process and practice planning and things like that and just had mutual friends and was just very honest with them. For me as a person, as a coach, like I, I, I speak my mind and I think that's what you want in an assistant coach. I, I haven't been able to be a head coach yet, but. It, I'd want my assistants to speak honest with me and we, we don't have to agree on everything, but I think that's the only way that it's gonna get better. Sounds cliche, but honesty is the best policy. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about our players that Adam has, has brought here and our staff that we have, because I think the future is super, super bright. And I think the, the trajectory of the regular season has really propelled us hopefully for a long playoff run here. As you think about to the postseason as well and the experience that you have, how much have the guys talk to you about those experiences and how they can be at their best come Friday, Saturday. I think they've, they've picked my brain a little bit, but I think they, our whole entire staff, like I, I think a lot of us have had postseason success um, coaching and playing. Obviously, uh, Coach Nightingale and Coach Fast have been a part of the NCAA tournaments and Frozen Fours and things like that. So 
I, I think it's awesome to see it when you come here in the month and you, it stares you in the face every single day. That winning tradition, that history, you want to be a part of that. You want to add to that. So um, I obviously have some, some decent experiences at other places, whether it be playing or coaching. Um, and I think our players have that too, though. I think Dylan, we, we brought up him. He, he's been to the NCAA tournament multiple times, whether it was at Quinnipiac, Notre Dame, Michael Underwood, he's been a part of the NCAA tournament at Clarkson. So I do think it is good where some of our transfers have some postseason experience. It's a little bit tighter checking, usually not as many penalties, um, but usually the team that's a little bit more detailed, smarter with the puck, smarter without the puck, they're, they're the team that finds a way. So um, not whatever. The, the playoffs is a, a difficult time, but really enjoyed it as a player and really enjoy it as a coach now too. Nightingale actively sought out DeMichael to be his right hand man due to his ability to help turn the program around at Massachusetts in such a short amount of time. It's what Nightingale hopes to do here at his alma mater and the Spartans could take another step in that direction this weekend. So of course, when we come back, you're going to hear from the guy who's better known as Knights to everyone around here.